All right, we're back. Circling Back Podcast presented by Vizzy Hard Seltzer, the only hard seltzer out there with vitamin C and superfruit acerola. My name's Will DeFreeze. To my right, Dave Ruff. I got a feeling today's going to be a little bit sassy. Really? A little more sass than people might be accustomed to. Heavy on the sass factor. Wow. What what gives you... I don't know, man. I was just, I was just looking through the TL... And just considering everything that's been going on, it's just like... It's a sassy morning. Today feels like it might be a little sassy. <laughs> okay. You got a problem with that? No, actually, what I love about today is that, um, aside from it being St. Patrick's Day, there's nothing special about today whatsoever. Absolutely nothing special Nothing about else today. is going on oh, that yeah. needs to be acknowledged Mm-mm. or celebrated. I notice you're not really wearing green. Yeah, that's so you will uh, come across this table and kiss me. Aren't you a you're a big St. Patrick's guy? I don't think that's how it works. I was gonna take you out back and just beat the shit out of you again. How about you how about you kiss beat me up? Beat me up with your lips. We're still in a pandemic, Dylan. (laughs) We're still in a pandemic. We can't be doing that. Uh I still get irrationally upset when people spell it patties with T's. Oh, I know. I'm I'm well aware. People on the TL are already ruining my mood. <laughs> Dude, it was like like death taxes and March 1st, Dylan dropping in the TFM writers group on Facebook that St. Patty's Day is spelled oh. with two Ds instead. Before 8 a.m., Big Will had already used it twice, Patty's with Ts. And I just, Wait, I, I think wanna, I might have used it in a text. I want to I text him and just tell him to just stop. Why it, does it matter? It hits different with the Ds, right? I'm, and I'm not even Irish. It's just a, a, a grammatical So thing. in this scenario, you do not want them to throw some Ds on this bitch. I do want the D's. You want Dad. the D's? Yeah, give me all the D's. Double D's. Yeah. Throw some D's on it. Lowercase D's. So throw some D's on this bitch. Yes, that's, that's what I'm saying. Instead of T's, man. I do like I T's, Somebody's still in your car. Yeah, I want to give a major shout-out to the car alarm going out right <laughs> off right outside of the studio right now. Dude, it's I, great. I, I, I really insurance. hope Dylan goes out there and his shit's on blocks. I have insurance. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Imagine if the, you're, just, you're parked at the complex that we actually work at, and you go outside, and your car's mm-hmm. just on blocks. That'd be a real beating. I'd be like, why did no one stop this yeah, guy? Yeah, like, Clearly, they're... It's supposed to take them 30 minutes. Excuse me? My Vespa's on blocks out there. <laughs> it's tough. Are you going to cough? Dude, Ooh. I don't know. So tell me tell me if I can steal this, okay? Next to my new place, there's a public marina, like a boat launch kind of thing. And next to it, there's an old jet ski tied to a tree. It's just been sitting there. Dude, that's your it's jet ski. Is that my jet ski? <laughs> <laughs> somebody's pet. That's yours. Like, the thing looks like it hasn't been touched in months. It looks like it's just covered in sludge. Dude. It's just gross. But I'm like, dude, I could shape this thing up real nice and all of a sudden have a nice little aquatic adventure. Take you should it convert it into a vehicle like that one dude in the recent viral video. Dude. Is that a wave runner or like a stand-up jet ski? Hard to say. I'll do my due diligence today and I'll get back to you guys for voicemails You take it in, get it, get it tuned up a little bit, cleaned. Boom. Brand new. I d- it just seems too good to be true. But it's tied to a tree. Yeah, no one ties. You don't tie a jet ski to a tree and expect it to stay there forever. Damn. Someone's gonna. Maybe take it's it. been there since like the the shoreline receded. So like it used to be tied up there because it was underwater. Well, David, it's a constant level lake. I'm surprised you don't know that. It's dammed on on either end. Figure it out, dude. What are you doing? You're saying it never floods. Yes. You would say that. Wow, this information is damning. If you if you see all the houses that are built like uh, I don't know three feet above the the lake level, you would understand that. Oh yeah, they're all just no hovering level. above the lake. Yeah, that's smart. It's a constant level lake. You know, it's been a dry winter up north, which means that the lake levels in Lake Michigan are likely to go down, which is good. It's needed. Really? Any higher, and like all of a sudden, we're going to have some major, major issues on the shoreline. So this is big. Hmm. Interesting. That's my meteorology minute. Pretty, pretty neat. The Michigan meteorology minute is actually going to be a constant uh, staple of fun and easy banter. So I hope you guys are ready for it. Is it because like the glaciers melted? I don't know. You'd have to ask the glacier boys. We got a big episode today. Big boy episode. Let's just get right into it. Let's do some programming notes before we do anything. Go follow Circling Back, Pod, and Wash Media on the Grom. Add me on the Grom. Leave a review and five-star rating. Tell a friend about the podcast. Head over to YouTube.com slash Wash Media for all the episodes. Dude, tell them about your column. Dude, your boy got a collie off yesterday. No one's saying collie. Dude, everyone's saying collie. Sammy Adams, lazy boy. Uh, yeah, your boy got a column off yesterday on washmedia.com. Go check it out. I might be sprinkling a few of those in once once I feel crazy. I even uploaded a couple of Dylan's back uh, things from... I noticed you did that. I wanted to even out the site. I didn't want to just have yeah. one post on there. And I was like, you know what? It's been long enough that the patrons shouldn't get mad if we put the state of Wash Media 
on the site. I'm now the top blogger on the on the website. That's yeah, you, thank you. I don't think you have the most page views. I think they got about three yesterday since we didn't promote them. But overall, like congratulations on having. You got the most more things. than three. That's I got more. Than three. That'd be surprising. Yeah, okay. they were all from me. Also, Patreon. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I guess Friday for uh, listener voicemails. Get them in. 888-618-4422. Again, 888-618-4422. Get in, get out, be tactical. And worst of next week. This is big. We love worst of on God. these parts. Are we gonna, that was supposed to be the worst of theme song. Are we going to make that video that we were talking about? We might make a video. Why we'll see. We? We'll see. So, yeah. Um, go check it out. Patreon.com slash Circling Back Podcast. Send your so stories. fun stuff is happening. The, the pipeline is full. Man. Not actually full. You can still leave voicemails, but just like the content pipeline that we have going right now. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here, man. Just a wave that doesn't die. It's extremely nectar. Let's ride this wave, Dave. Yeah. You want another big announcement? Please. We have a new sponsor. New sponsor. Mm. New sponsor alert. Mm. We have a new sponsor. New sponsor. Didn't we decide that that wasn't good? It's terrible. It lost Bit Madness, didn't it? Yeah. Or did it win? It's terrible. <sighs> but that's why I like it. Well, I got a question for you. Mm. Who says who says that taking care of yourself needs to be hard? A lot of people out there they don't take care of themselves. You gotta you know take care of yourself. I always say that. Yeah, you always say that. But what's you, you got to try some CBD, Dylan? You ever uh-huh. heard of it? Yeah, I'm familiar. What's Big great fan. about CBD is that it helps you feel better without making drastic changes to your routine. CBD is just it's just great. But like all these droppers out there, you ever do it in the dropper? You put it in your mouth and it's like on your tongue. It's just kind of weird and like. That's not the that's not the best thing that science has to offer. Also, I feel like like one one dropper full is, is like more than half of the little container that it comes in. It's, it's like just it, wild. It lasts like two uses. It's that's just yeah, it's just kind of a, an icky process. But luckily for you guys, I have a new sponsor alert. Meet Caliper, a new way to consume CBD. This past January, Colorado State University, very chill university, go Rams. Uh, they published the first peer-reviewed study to compare how different CBD products on the market are absorbed and processed by the body. And get this. Caliper CBD was found to deliver 30 times more CBD than CBD oil in the first 30 minutes. It gives you all the benefits of CBD in just 10 minutes. Like, and CBD oils can take up to two hours to actually fully absorb. No one has time like that. I drop this into smoothies, mix it with water. It's so easy. Dude, it's the easiest. Your body's mostly water. You wear that? Yeah. What percent? Your body stays wet. Oh, dripping. Yeah. Dripping. Internally. I, I, guess- got, I got more water than you. I'm just built different. Just general like science tells me that oil and water, they don't mix. No, it just no. doesn't make sense. And CBD oil is no different. So unlike CBD oils, Caliper CBD powder is completely tasteless and mixes easily in any food or drink. No weird taste, no oily residue or mouthfeel. Precisely 20 milligrams in each packet of Caliper CBD. So you never question how much CBD you're taking. It, it's just easy. Uh-huh. I poured some of this in my water the other day. Didn't even taste it. It was like just drinking water. Sometimes no taste is the best taste. Dude, it's the best. I always say that. And, like, people use CBD for everything. For me, it helps me relax. For some people, it helps them just, you know, snooze, feel less achy. I know Dave's got those aches and pains. Yeah, I guess I do, for sure. (laughs) You know me, just achy, breaky Dave. I I I, I don't hate that. (laughs) I take it before bed, helps me sleep. You know, I got this neck thing now. It's just, uh, take this. You're a mess. Good. You are a mess. I'm you a hot some, mess. You're a disaster. Lucky you got some caliper. Beautiful disaster. Comes in affordable 30 and 60 count packs, individual packets to give you the benefits of CBD wherever you go. These things, these packets, they're tiny. You can put them in anything. Mm-hmm. Toss one in your back pocket for later. It doesn't really matter. It's all natural, non-GMO ingredients, no fillers, added chemicals, or artificial flavors. So if you want to get 20% off your first order when you use promo code STEAM at tricaliper.com slash STEAM. You can try Caliper CBD risk-free for 30 days. If you don't love it, they'll give you a full refund. It's 20% off and a full refund? Are you kidding me? That's tricaliper.com slash steam. Don't forget promo code steam for 20% off your first order. That's C-A-L-I-P-E-R dot com slash steam. Caliper. Mm. It's time, baby. Round two a bit net madness. Let's go. Mm. Let's go. Man. This is where this is where uh, the pavement hits the road. You know? Oh, we're in the jungle now. This is like Separation Saturday. Yeah, it's moving day. Moving day. Thank you. Some this teams is, are going to move on. Some aren't. Yeah. Were it's, you saying this weekend Separation Saturday for you? Uh, what do you mean? I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it either. Never mind. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. What's separating? Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> I don't. I don't really get I'm it. Making the connection. There's huh? maybe something there. I don't know. 
Maybe we should just do the bracket. Yeah, let's get to the. To all the backers out there that sorts this bracket for us, thank you so much. You guys did a better job than we would have done because uh, I can't recall every bit we have because it's just ingrained in my brain to speak like this at this point. I love the uh, the roads rough bit. That's my favorite bit. I think. Yeah. All he's... roads leads to rough. Because he's one of the things on the on Bit Madness, you know. Did he win? Probably not. Have you uh, ever thought about changing your name to his, like Dave Fairway? He cut his first of many L's. <laughs> yeah, he did. Wow. I just look forward to the second round so Dylan can shit on the seating some more. <laughs> God. <laughs> Let's start off with the first one. If, and if you want to ever watch on YouTube, we do have all these on the screen for the YouTube viewers out there. I feel like more people watch on YouTube than I give credit to. Do you hop on the YouTubes. Thousands on some. Crazy stuff. Hop on the tubes, man. We got number one. The overall number one seed. Didn't they used to call that call you that in high school versus number eight? A dangerous number eight drinking just one beer. Didn't they used to call you that in high school? Is uh, It's one of the older bits that's uh, still going real strong, which is... Same with drinking one beer. You're right. You're right. But as a, as a number one overall seed, it's getting lots of love to this day. Still. When these two combatants enter the ring, you can throw their records out. <laughs> I think that drinking one beer is going to move on for me. I have to say, if you switch the seatings of these two, it wouldn't even blow my mind. Like, I, right. could, see, I could see one of them being an eight and the other one being a one. I'm, I'm not saying the seating well, is wrong here. It, but it, point. Well, they, they had a little COVID outbreak, and they, mm. they lost some players for a little bit. So, yeah, they're, don't, their record's a little bit sneaky. What are you going with, Dylan? You want the onus? I don't know. Because I'm going to give it to you. Then they used to call you that in high school. Well, as someone who has been very much enjoying drinking just one beer lately, doing tasks around the place while moving, unpacking, stuff like that, I got to go with drinking one beer. <laughs> oh, wow. Upset alert. No, dude, no one had that. Wow. Shouts to all the one beers out there. Or the one Vizzies. I had exactly one beer last night, actually. I, had I, I, I had it. actually had exactly one Japanese whiskey last night. Ooh. But I will say it was a quite a heavy pour, so it might have been a little closer to one and a half. I um, I officially kicked off rosé season. Look at night. you. Yeah. I think y'all got Sparkling me. Well, you still. got me the bottle of rosé, I think. Or uh, us. Well, we, we did together, but it's whatever. I actually delivered it to your home, personally, with my son, but it's not a big Oh, deal. is that where we got it? Okay. I couldn't remember. We just... Mm -hmm. Okay. We were both like, man, Will killed it with this. To be fair, to be fair oh, to Dylan, well, to be please, fair to Dylan, he actually did all the legwork of doing. Please this. remind your wife. That's a first. Yeah. Please remind your wife that I was very much a part of that. <laughs> did you have the spark? I got you both, sparkling and still. Which one did you have? I just mixed them together. Had a suicide. Oh my god. I went suey on the rose. <laughs> did you remember when we had the 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 one episode where we had the bit where we were laughing from like the back of our throats, like. <laughs> Yeah, I watched the video of that, and I was like, man, this is not how you should be talking to people during a pandemic. Like, it was peak COVID, and we we're just breathing yeah. more air than ever. Just spreading all the germs. This one's tough. We got number five, Mocha Clappuccino, versus number four, the Seinfeld soundbite. Not Still it. Not, not it. it. I don't think that's fair. We just did, because Mocha Clappuccino is not here to, to put forth some audio. That's fair. But he's with us in spirit. Of course, we're talking about KJ. When I think of Mocha Clappuccino, I think more Cole Campbell than I do KJ. No offense to KJ, but it, it Damn, originated dude. with Cole Campbell. If you're KJ, are Cole you Campbell never did Mocha. What would he do? He just did Clappuccino. Oh, KJ added the Mocha, okay. but he okay. He came up with Clappuccino though. He did. He okay. did. Okay. But KJ, he personalized it. Yeah, I get it. He yeah. flipped it and reversed it. I'm going with Mocha Clappuccino. I like the Seinfeld soundbite, <laughs> but to be honest, I got another soundbite in my in my arsenal that I might bust out for that. That's going to replace it. All about the bust. It's adjacent. Don't you going to get rid of Seinfeld? I'm not going to get rid of it. It might make him another appearance. Unless there's a typo. That's not how you spell bite. Unless you're like a, a fucking computer nerd. Fucking <laughs> nerd ass Randy would type, spell it that way. Randy, give me the Mocha Clappuccino. Oh, Mocha Clappuccino goes oh, on. Man, I would have. For the record, I would have voted for Seinfeld. That's because you're a big Seinfeld guy. Didn't you say it's your favorite show behind Friends? I didn't say that. I said it's my favorite sitcom of all time. You've said numerous times that Friends is the funniest show you've ever seen. No, Stop. Dylan likes. Dylan's was a big fan of Wings. Wings is good. Don't don't slander Wings. Don't wings is wings. a good show. The hair in Wings was just next level. Dude, Nantucket Island. You probably don't even know that, dude. You know shit. I once knew a man from Nantucket. Really? That airport security didn't seem up to snuff in that show. The I'll whole say, airport. I'll oh. say it. I'll say it. Number three, horny police horny. versus bang. That's a tough matchup. Your brain is too um, 
Bah. It's like you're singing a song. Yeah. It's too. It's too like melodic. Bah. Sorry, dude. I can't turn down my pipes. Bang. Bah. 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 <laughs> What if he busts that out in like a Mavs playoff game? Luca hits a three from deep and he goes, bang! <laughs> oh, he needs so to mix stupid. it up. He needs to no, mix it up. No, he doesn't, so dude. Stupid. He's playing the hits. That's so dumb. <laughs> Bubba bang! bang. <laughs> That's what I would a bang. do. Bang! I would say, like, I, like I do with my, my buy sign offs. Bang! I have to do something right now that I'm not proud of doing. And what I'm about to do is I'm going to let Randy take the mic because Randy has a next-gen stat that I think is kind of necessary when it comes to this particular matchup. Uh, Randy, can you put the mic in front of your face, please? Why are you ignoring me? It's not that difficult, Randy. Yeah, dude, just put the mic down. Randy, can you tell the people out there how many views the horny police GIF of Dave has on Jiffy? Oh you can look yes, that up. yes, yes. Oh, I can look that up I, on Giphy. Yes, uh, give count? me, give me one second. Does Please, it count all the like the Twitter. Yes. So if you you can just watch it like five times on a loop and it counts as five. It is absolutely insane how often the horny police meme has or GIF has been used. So it's, it's it's being used outside of backers. Based on the number you're about to hear, it's absolutely being used outside of the backers. So Dave is Dave the face of of horniness? Is he this is he the is he the horny guy? Is he the sergeant? Dude, the <laughs> GIF doesn't even say No, there's two. It, why, on, okay. on Twitter it doesn't say it. I don't know why it gets cut off, but if you ready for this? I'll give you our number 2. Our number 2 is 1.2 million and it's Dylan's head exploding. Really? Yeah. I don't even see that one. People just years. love having your head exploding. Okay. The, the horny police for Dave is eighteen point nine million. Almost, oh, it's about it's a lot to get to nineteen million. You're the face of the horny police. That's more impressions than you have. Wait, is your mustache in the in that gif? Yes, backwards hat mustache, Dave. Because mm. like it has like a, a cop vibe, you know, like horny police. It's kind of upsetting that your hat's backwards in that because we could have had some major branding on the uh, on the horny police one. But it does say circular. Oh yeah, back did Brett sell right? that? We should. He, he should sell it as an NFT. Does it say circling back in the image? Not yes. frat. Got a bug. Good job, Randy. Tad? Good job, Randy. Yeah, not fratty tatty. That's really funny. Really funny. God, dude, I can't believe I'm leading the company in impressions. That's pretty crazy. Just wait till I go viral on, on, on my next Because, Dylan, you have a significant following. Yeah. And you're not doing numbers. Very famous on social media. It's yeah. interesting. And let me say, that's only on Giphy. I also have it on Tenor, which is what Twitter and like oh. others use, too. So it's significantly more than that. Don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. How many has it done on Parlor? Probably a lot. Parlor and Yard. What about Cena Weibo? You, you got those numbers? No? Yeah? Peach? Horny Police for me, just based on the statistics, statistics alone, it's having a moment right now, and I have to go with number three, Horny Police. Now that I know what I know about Dave being the face of the Horny Police, I have to go Horny Police. I was going to go Bang, just because I wanted to hear Will in his sing-song voice. Bang. 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 Watermelon sugar, bang. bang! Watermelon well, sugar, bang. bang! Come on, you don't t- you don't see Mike Green doing without. Harry Styles bits. I can never go without watermelon sugar. Horny police moves on. Interesting. Speaking of, yeah, chill, dude. I just found out what that song's about. That song's man. about a Vizzy. Oh, wait, you're right. No, but they don't even have, though there is no, no sugar. sugar. In yeah, yeah, it's a paradox. P a r a. Okay, we're, we're doing t- we're doing way too much. A lot is happening. Number seven, you you hate to get two seven in poker, but this matchup, uh, I'm licking it. Up. I don't like this. These are two of my favorite things. Oh. This is quite possibly the hardest matchup we've seen all through this Hit is Madness. A toughie. Number seven, as this is the only way she can eat fajitas, versus number two, which I will say is a is a verified number two seed in my mind. Got any swipes? Got any swipes? You you guys got any swipes? I don't. You know what? I'm just gonna say it. I'm going with fajitas. Solely because I don't want the onus put on me. The thing about the fajitas is it's the only way she can eat them. I the do, only way. If it does not have shredded cheese, she'll send it back. She'll just let it get cold right in front of her. She'll just waste the food. I'm not even going to touch my drink. How about that? Can you imagine leaving a Tex-Mex restaurant just smelling like the smoke from your fajitas, just knowing that you didn't even eat them while they were piping she, hot? That's the only way she can eat them, though. Disgusting. She has to have cheese. It's weird that like them being freezing cold isn't the deal breaker, but the cold shredded cheese is the deal breaker. Right. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> what, David? Did you see Ross's response to your tweet about Randy? 
Yeah. Does he know what that means? <laughs> do, do I Sorry. Even, do I even want to know? Dylan's, uh, again, once again, talking about Randy's cake. And he Ross just said, said oh, what did he say? Human Randy is, as you say, double-cheeked up. That's a fat rabbit. And um, Oh, does that mean something else? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not completely sure. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> Just putting that out there. Sorry, I couldn't uh, get past it. I was... Is that rabbit trying to eat a carrot? Did you see my follow-up tweet? I was oh dirty. My God. Are you just pimping your tweets right now? I said we're having cake. <laughs> okay. To celebrate the one-year anniversary, but also, like, cake? <laughs> I crushed that. I need, I need Dave's, like, his bang gif right now. How good does Mitt Romney look these days with his uh, way of blowing out candles on cakes? Do you remember that video? <laughs> now it's the COVID way to do it. Yeah. He got kind of wronged. He got wronged. He also once traveled uh, in a car on a road trip with his dog strapped to the in its cage, <laughs> people strapped forget to the top of his vehicle. That's like, the, yeah, th- people forget that just, that actually happened. Just catching all the fucking wind. God. <sighs> what? Who? What are you guys going with? Oh, Schweitzer yeah. fajitas. Oh, it's, this is so hard. Upset alert. Fajitas moves on. Thanks, wow. Don. You owed fajitas. I went fajitas. That's over then. I love Schweitzer, but I think I think. If I've learned anything, it's that as this is the only way she can eat fajitas, that still has legs. Like, that still plays in a, in, in a world. And I think we need to start using it more. It's It, it makes me laugh every time it, it, I see it on the timeline. No matter con, – no context needed. Just throw it out there. Just throw me – throw, like, five of those words together in a sentence, and I'm happy. She will ever be the uh, fajitas girl. What's she doing? Filing divorce papers for her husband. <laughs> she needs to. Wonder if that. Yeah. What an idiot that guy is. Hey, Randy, can you pull down the mic and and just tell me yeah. what you just what did you tell the world that? what you showed me? <laughs> Fat rabbit. We're giving you. A, yeah. What does We're it mean? Deffy. If you need to bleep out any words, feel free to do so. Give us the Deffy. According to oh, Urban Dictionary, <laughs> it is the. Lips of a of a vagina that are visible when a woman is bent over. All right, we're okay. good. We're good. Randy, what's your problem? I wasn't man? saying that. The the other this, is on, this is Ross's fault. Yeah, he's <laughs> this is wildly inappropriate. That is just very, very foul. Another two versus seven. Randy's mm. happy hour sign offs versus number seven. Naming kids after public infrastructure. Uh huh. Can you guys confirm that you were naming your children after public infrastructure? Yeah. I no, just... mine was actually after private. Really? Like to, like a tro- a toll road. They're private in Texas. People forget. Toll Road Rough kind of sounds like a – that sounds like a wrestling nickname. The old Toll Road. <laughs> huh. huh. I'm going to go with the two-seed Randy's Happy Hour sign-offs. I was having a conversation with uh, J-Bone, Jared Borislow, yesterday. Oh, yeah. And we were talking about how underrated the um, – him broadcasting live from my gut, the war that was going on inside of my gut <laughs> – was we're like yeah that's that 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 went a little bit underrated. I might need to go back and watch. Do, is there a YouTube video out there with all these on it? Yes, there is. I think I need to go back and watch all these. They're I think good. that video was released at a time when I was busy doing something and I just didn't I didn't really soak it in enough. They're good. What are you voting for, Dylan? Um, I might just go ahead and uh, advance Randy's Happy Hour sign-offs because it's Randy's first anniversary at Wash Media. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go with Randy's Happy Hour sign-offs as well. I imagine this is the, your last win, though. What a blowout victory! <laughs> Yeah, good for you, Randy. Dude, it truly is moving day. Uh-huh. Ooh, we have, we truly have a mega tough scene on this next matchup. Number eleven, Frat Dave versus number fourteen, Mega Tough Scene. Mega tough. I'll say this. I love Frat Dave. Mm. I wow, love, I don't like where this is going. No, I think I think you will enjoy it. I I like Frat Dave so much that I actually think that it needs to be more, uh, more in in the. I don't in the landscape of watched media. <clears throat> I love Fred Dave, and I have to go with Fred Dave. As far as characters that Dave does, Fred Dave is is down the list for me. What? I don't know why. Too close to home. It's because you hate Fred. Probably, yeah. Uh, it's it's like give me give me sassy wolf. This Fred star burned snake. out. Give me give me his Ted Cruz. Give me a lot of things over Fred Dave. Steve-o? Dylan, Dylan, you've always said that like ever since you were a kid, you just wanted to be a Fred star. Oh my God! Please don't never say that to me again. Um, and shouts to the originator of Mega Tough Scene, which is Barry McCockiner. 
B- big shouts to him. Okay. Okay. I guess we are giving shouts to him. Um, it's, it's I thought a, we didn't. Didn't you hate him? Yeah, he's the guy that got you. It's he a mega tough scene for Fred Dave. Didn't he own you? Scene's moving on. Didn't he own you on the TL? Well, Dave hasn't even voted yet. Yeah, he he to, got me. To be clear, my favorite Dave character is a uh, guy you haven't seen in a while at bar. Oh, that's a good one. That's yeah. my favorite one. Yeah. I just love guy that you haven't seen in a while. Yeah, Fred Dave's not his best character. Didn't yeah. make the turning. Probably because he's only appeared once. He's in the NIT. He's going to win the NIT. Probably. Mm-hmm. Him or Flounder. Ooh. Do I need to even vote? Yeah. You're, the onus is all over you right now. Hmm. So that means one of you has voted for Fred Dave and the other has voted for Mega Tough Scene. Um, I hate to pat myself on the back, but yes. I'm going to go I'm gonna go Fred Dave. Let's mm. go. Mm. This is just, this is a, this is a spite pick. It's moving, dude. Mega Tough Scene. Sorry, dude. It's whatever, dude. Maybe next time. Oh, man, we got two Dylan bits right now. Number 13, Dylan not being able to cook mm. versus number five, Dylan hitting the slopes. Okay, this is a, this right. is, which one does Dylan dislike more? <laughs> That's what you're going to go with. I think he dislikes Dylan hitting the slopes more, but I think eventually we can get him to crack by roasting his cooking enough. So my, my favorite questions through quarantine were just asking Dylan what he made for dinner the night I hate before. It. I hated those questions. It's tough for Dylan because like, he can't even plug his grill in. <laughs> That is it's such real, a bummer. It's a serious problem. We're yeah. going to get you a generator. Generation. <laughs> oh, man. I have a favorite one of these. Okay. What is it? Go uh, ahead and vote. Dylan hitting the slopes, I think, is slightly – it's kind of funny. I, I've really? Ne- I've never done cocaine in my life. No, no, no. This is reverse. He's trying to trick us. I've never done cocaine in my life. Is he trying to trick us? Is he Is he begging for us to go with Dylan? Did you already vote? Cook? Nope. No, you're the first person you're to You're the vote. first one, so okay, now Will and I hold slopes. the cards. Oh, dang it. It's funny. It's, that's us holding the cards. Do you want the onus, or do you want me to have the onus? Onus Wagner. Dylan not being able to cook. Is he trying to play us? What are you going to do with, the, with your onus, dude? I think Dylan is a little bit more sensitive about not being able to cook because I think he, he knows he can make some bomb brussy. So I feel like he's actually getting disrespected <laughs> by, by, by being the 13 seed, not being able to cook. So I think he's trying to trick us. One of my favorite voicemails that we've gotten in recent memory was someone following up on Dylan's New Year's resolution from 2020 about becoming better in the kitchen, and he wanted a status report of that. Yeah, I just loved it. So I, I'm going to go with number 13. This is a <sighs> this is a, an absolute Cinderella story. <laughs> Dylan not being able to cook. <laughs> that was funny. <sighs> is that all? I don't know. Oh, oh, number eight. Oh, I wow. am an oil man. Versus number one. Welcome to Wilmons. Jeez, this is a tough draw. Tough draw. Oh, man. Not Mon. You can say Mon, too. This is kind of cannibalizing itself. I'm an oil Mon. Based on oil Mons in Lubbock. Yeah. Oil <laughs> I just I'll get ahead of it. Like, I have to go for the business that's keeping me afloat in the lazy river. Nice. Welcome to Will Mons. Nice. I'm going to go I'm with the oil man just to put the anus or the onus on oil Dylan. Oil man is tough, man. It's, it's, dude, it's tough. I wish this matchup wasn't it. it. Nothing makes Randy laugh more than the oil man bit. It's true. Nothing. It's true. <laughs> he's, he's laughing right now. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put uh, Will Mons through, though. Welcome wow. to Will Mons Advances. Sorry, Dave. Wow. Don't apologize to me. Welcome hey, to pays, Will Mons. We sold more Will Mons merch than Oil Man Dude, merch. Shouts to so Barry Rigby, man. I'm fine with that. Big shouts to Barry Rigby. I never want a different sponsor than Vizzy, but like if, if Foster's ever came knocking and we could just say, I am an oil can, <laughs> it would it would just hit. Wow. Number six, we're we're in the Miller High Life uh, side of the regions right now. Number 16, which beat number one. Mm, wow. COVID testing behind the dumpster. <laughs> He's this actually, is number eight, Sassy Wolf Day. <laughs> That's so funny. It wasn't, it wasn't a dumpster, man. And it was actually in the dumpster. <laughs> it was in the dumpster. You had to, like, hop in. Yeah. <laughs> sassy Wolf Day for me might be one of the ones that just takes it takes it to the next level. I told you today was going to be a pretty sassy episode. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> That's a, I always forget the Sassy Wolf Day thing until Dylan brings up, I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> That's such a disrespectful way to eat somebody. Yeah, imagine getting eaten by a sassy wolf of all things. It's you're, it's kind of like Scar from like Lion King. He was a little sassy. No, he wasn't sassy. He was a little That's sassy. The anime he was sassy. Do you see the way he's, he's hardcore? When he, man. he slinks when he walks. He's a slinky little boy. 
Okay. Don't say he slinks. He's when a he slinky walks. little boy. Did you ever have a slinky growing up? Yeah, I would do the stair thing. I actually got pretty good at the They're stair thing. Pretty cool. Thing. Yeah. But I, I bent mine. You had the so metal one. Working. No, I had the one, the plastic one. It would just, if you bent it, it would like eventually break. Oh. I had the plastic one. I, I had no issues with it. Dylan, do you know what a slinky is? Of course I know what a slinky is, David. Are we poor because we had plastic Dude, ones and not the metal ones? Those have been around since yeah. like 1930. Oh, it's a slinky, see? Oh. Oh, the How'd they drop it down, drop it down the stairs, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Hours and hours yeah. of fun. <laughs> I don't know if the Empire State Mall thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. That's a that's a long ass slinky. That's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Longest in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's old school. Toy, you know, if you man. unwrap the one that's as long as the Empire State Building, it actually wraps around the world six times. Yeah, that's true. You know, you have enough veins in your body to uh, have the world's longest slinky. Is that true? Twice. <laughs> wow. There's more wire in the Golden Gate Bridge than there is slinkies in the world. I don't know if that's... Hey, <laughs> think about that. <laughs> I don't want to. Dude, that's crazy. I don't want to. It, where does, where does the Golden Gate Bridge rank among your favorite bridges? You know they never stop painting it. I like Jeff. You hear about that? Yeah, that's like a, that's like a thing about every bridge. They never stop painting it, Will. Because they go on one side, then they go to the... And then what are you talking done, about? They have to restart. They never stop painting it. You, you stupid painting? dumbass. Are you saying painting? Painting it, dude. Painting what? The the freaking bridge, dude. Why? Why do they paint it? It's made of gold. It's because of the climate there. It's constantly like, it's weathered. It's not even a gate. Yeah, it's over salt water. You think you know how that corrodes things? Why are you, why are you explaining like I'm not like filling everybody in on this really interesting fact? <laughs> I'm mansplaining your fact. <laughs> this guy doesn't understand weathering. <laughs> you stupid dumbass. Come on, dude. The Gold Gate Bridge is my number two bridge in the world. It's a dope ass bridge. It really is, man. Mine's a bridge to Terabithia. You've never even seen the Golden Gate in person, David. Yeah, I have. I've crossed you it. Go to the West Coast one time. Idiot. I actually base jumped off of it. So Did you? I bay jumped off of it. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I jumped yeah. into the bay. Yeah. Actually, that kind of worked out. <laughs> Who was she? <laughs> I'm sorry. My wife. This is so stupid. I have to go with Sassy Wolf Dave. I just It's just, it, it makes me smile no. every single time. It does make me smile thinking about Dylan getting Yeah, a, imagine me in the dumpster getting COVID But you, COVID but dude, tested. it's like, that could have endangered the company. Some dude's poking my brain with a Q-tip in a dumpster. Like, think about it. This, I mean, this will be the last time that COVID testing behind a dumpster actually, like, is in the in the rankings. We're not going to be COVID testing in dumpsters No one's going to get vaxxed in a dumpster. Yeah. <laughs> His, like, arm's going to turn green. Did this, did this happen to you guys? Fucking Bruce Banner looking ass. Vote, dude. Behind the dumpster. Oh, so I got the onus. The onus is all you. Oh, is really you knew you had the onus when you asked Dave to vote. I didn't. Uh, I'm going to go Sassy Wolf Dave. Oh. Oh. Sorry, COVID dumpster yeah. testing. I'm going to beat you. 16C took out one. Forgotten. It's already a good story. Let's, you know. I would love to see Sassy Wolf Dave getting COVID tested behind in, in a dumpster, though. You going you gonna to poke me with that? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that Be hurt. Easy on me. Hope it's negative. Ooh, it tickles. <laughs> Ooh, my eyes are watering. Number 12, mobbing with the boys, which beat fraternity leave. A lot of people had fraternity leave mm. going deep into the tournament, and I no did. one had number 12 going over that number five there. Dude, don't hate. Why, is you, why have you turned your back on frat? Like, you built your brand on it. I was. You were the king of frat. Admit it. I never liked frat. Frats. No, You used to always say no one frats harder than me. Mm-hmm. I've never said that. Were you a fan of saying that something is frat or something is fratty? Fratty was the frat. best. Frat. For sure. Fratastic. All Dylan wanted to be was a frat star. That term actually was like oh, just the just the worst. I, I cringed every time I heard the term frat star. Dylan would always fire out a text, be like, dude, we're going to pregame, do some beer pong with the frat pack. You want to come over? So I went over to Dylan's house recently, and <laughs> I brought a nice true. red bottle of red, and I was like, man, we're just going to chill out, vibe, maybe mob with the boys. And, and I walked activated in. activated party mode, remember? Well, I knocked on the door, and there was like, I waited for like a minute, and I was like, well, this is kind of weird. Like, maybe he's outside, like out back trying to figure out his Traeger still. And Who so I walked in, and his shower was running, and he had a Bluetooth speaker just playing music. He was listening to Rockstar by uh, Post Malone. Right. But he was replacing all the words with Frat Star. Wow. It was really weird. It sounds like our trip to uh, the Players' Championship. And didn't didn't Parks open the door and say, who do you know here? Then he dabbed on me. <laughs> Why was Barrett so unimpressed? 
with the homies dab in that video. Yep. Send me that video, by the way. Okay. Barrett hates kids. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he was sat between two of them, and that's El Rancho. Yeah. Maybe I he felt was bad. Un- he, had, he got the Rhodes experience. Maybe he was unimpressed because that was his like 40th dab of the the lunch. I did get it was one of the final dabs that he had before. I think, I think a, you told him, Park, stop dabbing. It's like you're you're dabbing too much. Well, number 12, Mobbing with the Boys, is going up against number four, Podcast Week. Ooh. This is tough, but I'm going with Podcast Week. Wow, you're voting Oh, you're voting for it during Podcast Week, coincidentally. Dur- yeah, I mean, maybe if it wasn't Podcast Week currently, I wouldn't vote for it. But considering that it, this bit madness has fallen over Podcast Week, I have no choice but to stand. I'm going Mobbing with the Boys. Wow. Yeah, 12 over 4. You're choosing Mobbing with the Boys during a pandemic. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. I sure am. David? Onus time. So that means one of you has chosen mobbing, mobbing with the boys and the other has chosen podcast week. That's correct. Looking at my calendar right now, it looks like I have a date to mob with the boys, but it's also podcast week, so this is tough. Um, you know what? It's podcast week. Wow. Wow. I thought mobbing with the boys was going to make a run. Sorry, sometimes the boys got to take a seat. Shut up. I don't mob with the boys anymore. I mob with the fellas. See, the, the deeper we get into this bracket, the more difficult it becomes. That's how it works, man. Number three. Oh, a three eleven matchup. Come original. Scott. What, what colors your energy, bro? I don't, I don't get the reference. Number three, Shackett versus number 11. Big arms being out. <sighs> this Sheesh. is um. This is crazy. This is like having to kill one of your kids. It's like which one? <laughs> like which one do I have to choose? Uh huh. Isn't there a movie about that? It's probably in the Bible. Is it? They have to cut the kid in half or something. Not Old familiar. Testament. Not Randy knows what I'm talking that. about. Yeah, read the Bible one time. It's too long. Newer Old Testament. Mm-hmm. I kind of like them both. <laughs> That's what Trump said. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> kind of like them both. No, I got fuck with them both. <laughs> Dude, you've never cracked one of those before. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like doing this because I, I don't like to give Dylan credit, but the Shaq, it, he wore it every single day for an entire week, and it, I just can't go against the Shaq. It. So it's a shirt that's a jacket. I just forced that bit down everyone's throats. I just I was relentless about the Shaq. It. There's also a lot of big arm guys out there that are just getting real big mad about this to us, and like I don't want to be at some random bar on – West six one night, and then all of a sudden have some dude with giant arms come up and be like, "Heard you're the fucking small arm guy." <laughs> it's like that's a tough dude, scene, chill, man. We're yeah. just kidding, no, dude. Like, no, it's, it's a bit. It's a bit. Come on, not trying to square up with like a bodybuilder. Uh, I'm going shacket. Damn, shacket goes through. Is there a summer oh, shacket? That's a bummer. I was going big arms. Is there a summer shacket? Yeah, I think they're just called shirts. Mm, that's unfortunate. Like button downs. I just need a lightweight shacket to wear. It's like, a shirt. Sp- sp- spring in the summer. You know, a shirk it. How do you feel about big arms being literally out of the bracket, Dave? I feel like this uh, kind of pains you. You know. To be clear, big arms are still out. Mm-hmm. Well, literally they're out. Yeah, and now they're just double out. So, Does that make them back in, though? Ooh, no. They're very much out. Okay. They're okay. just well, super out now. Number 10, making fun of Randy without a mic. And number two. El Glizadente. This is this should not be close. I, I don't want it to be close. I hate that he has a, actually has a mic today. That's really. Hey Randy, how do you feel about uh, us making fun of you without a mic? Just kidding. Turn your mic down. <laughs> oh, uh, got him! Got, got him! him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot! Wow, who he, he fell, fell for, for that, he, dude? <laughs> you got him, dude. <laughs> what, are you, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm gonna turn your mic up during this part? Come <laughs> what a on, dumbass, dude. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, dude, come on. Oh, man. I have to go with El Glizadente, though. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go around making fun of I just had a lot of fun making fun of Randy without a mic. So I know. Gonna, it was, I yeah. mean, it's hard to vote that off based on how hard I'm laughing right now, but El Glizadente gave us so much so much time. Dylan, go ahead and vote. Make you fun of Randy without a mic. Oh, that puts it on me. <sighs> man, I love making fun of Randy without a mic. But I got to go with the Gliz. It's glizzy season. Shit. It's glizzy season, dude. This thing's got it's got to fall somewhere. Man. I don't know if it's going to. It's got to fall. It's not that funny. I pull up double fist in. I got a fizzy and a glizzy. And I'm, wow. I'm about to get busy. Can we throw a glizzy and a fizzy? I'm sure you can. 
pool party this Shit, summer. We had we we had a call with Vizzy today. And we didn't ask them about possibly doing a hot dog flavor for circling back. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> It's like, yeah, do you guys have any more questions uh, regarding the campaign or anything like that? Dude, let's throw that theme party. Chocolate starfish. Summer. And the hot dog flavored glizzy. I don't hate that. Or Vizzy. I don't hate that at all. Fred yeah. Durst might have something to say glizzy about that. Vizzy and a Vizzy. We got another. All right, what are we down into now? The poncho bracket? Poncho region? Number two, the homie playing GTA versus number seven. There's no way to look that up. The homie playing GTA is a two seed? That's kind of surprising. But th- that kind of. People ride for parks. Well, yeah, he's the GOAT. Parks himself isn't actually on the bracket, so I think this acts as a nice little, you know, substitute. Mm -hmm. But there's no way to look that up. There's no way to look that up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's no way to look that up has been one of the longest running bits. We, I think we said it like a lot in San Diego. We can't look up when we first said it. Mm -mm. No, there's no way. It's literally impossible. There's no way to do it. I don't know. Who, uh, who wants to vote first? I can't do this. I'll vote first. I'm going to go for the homie playing GTA. Wow. What are you doing, Dylan? Yo, this is yours, sir. I'm going. There's no way to look that up. <sighs> mostly mostly I want to I want to put the homie playing GTA behind us. That's Can why. I say something about the homie? Yeah. I felt really bad the last time I saw him because he wanted to come in and like do what he normally does, where it's his, uh, just beat the shit out of me. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I had this neck thing. So I'm like very like just immobile. Stiff well, he kept doing it. I was like, ah, I had to like tell him like stop, and I felt kind of bad because like normally I, you know, I fight back, play with the kid, and I was like, I was like, ah, I can't, man. Was he rattled when you said that? Y- yeah, you could tell he's a little caught off guard, and I was like, no, it's not you, man. It's me. It's the neck thing. I can't really. Yeah, so I just want to put that out there. Okay. I, it was weird. I walked into the Twitch lab, and he like looked at me, and he was like, he just kind of whispered. He was like, dude, why is Dave being a little baby back bitch today? <laughs> yeah, he's right. And I was like, dude, his neck's bothering him. Had the like, language on that kid. I know. I, I told him. I was like, dude, you can't talk like that. Dang. So the onus is on your boy? I have to go with there's no way to look that up. It's just such a long-running bit that at That's this the right point, call. at this, it's such a bit in my head that I end up just saying it without even thinking about that's it. that's the right call i say it in normal conversation oh my god this is two of dave's children against each other wow number six spooky season versus number three roads rough damn my goons got goons dang it'd be your own people man this is not a matchup you wanted to see in in the second round <laughs> <sighs> I- roads rough is a very strong bit though <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's funny because he's not even real yeah you just Great wanted bit. two weeks off. <laughs> <laughs> One of those weeks was the freeze, the freeze week too. Yeah, you didn't even like get like the full like. Yeah, I have I, I, I have uh, I've put in a petition to have another week. So we'll see. That's fine. We'll see what HR says. Can it fall over my it. bachelor party? Yeah. Yeah, we still got to make that happen, dude. The how long after the child was born can we go do my bachelor party? We can do it a decade from now. And it Should matter. we just cuck Micah's bachelor party and say that it's mine? Just rattle him. Yeah. I, I can't vote first. Mm. I, I love both of these things. I do too. I mean, spooky season's been around for longer than roads, so they've got the pedigree, you know? We've made more money on spooky season. You could Yeah, you could argue that roads is just like costing We're losing costing money on you roads money. with the insurance and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're, he's costing us. <laughs> I'll go with spooky season. <laughs> I'm voting against your son. Dave, I'm going to let you go next. Uh, I'm going to go with spooky season. <laughs> <laughs> it's always going to go with spooky season. I still want to be the one to like yeah, know, it's okay. make the deciding vote. Spooky season is too strong. It's too strong. It's it's literally one of the best products we have in this company. It's it's incredible. You can't vote against like Lil Pumpkin. No. If it's Lil Pumpkin versus spooky season, then I'd, I'd just be rattled. <laughs> oh, another tough matchup. Oh, one tough, that I don't. Oh, there's going to be there's going to be a group of people that are very a, unhappy about this. It's a tough one, say. Ah, this one's tough. This it's number four, tough. 1940s gangster accents versus number five, Will Mommies. Oh, I got a slinky, say. Do you guys remember when Ross Boland came onto a Happy Hour Live and said, "Yeah, so what's up with this Wilmans thing?" Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Wilmans. Wilmans. That's the that's the <laughs> Irish pub. Wilmans. Well, I'll tell you what. The Will Mommies are not going to be happy with me because I'm going 1940s gangster accent. How are you going to vote for it without doing it in 1940s gangster accent? 1940s gangster accent. I'm going to vote, I'm gonna vote for the Will Mommies just to put it on Will. Thanks. Wow. Well, I, lo- I like a good 1940s gangster accent as much as anybody. But I, th- I think Dave was swayed by 
the Will Mommy's going at him on Twitter a little bit. He got a little rattled. He, he wants to get back on the Went back and listened, and, it, and, and I was like, I, I feel like slander wasn't the proper word. No. It was more of just voting for old Gene. I think the Will Which, by the way, Gene was robbed. Yeah. Gene is like bit, like ground floor bit. Yeah. For the th- I mean, like. <laughs> but I did vote for the Will Mommy, so that should protect me. I'm voting for the Will Mommies. They got that mob mentality. I'd ride with the Will Mommies. They got that mob mentality. You know, they're just they're doing big things, man. They're doing Camp Will Mommies. They're they're but coming it, up with their own logos. If and you shit. cross them though, they don't get the the Tommy guns out. You voted against them, however. Yeah, you did vote. Just want that to be part. Oh yeah. Oh, of course I did. And I'm not going to say what you said off air, but I, of course I voted against them. <laughs> 1940s gangster accents is, is is a great bit. I'm sorry. I love the Will Mommies. I love them. I yeah. did a. I oh, appeared yeah. on their live stream once. Just say what up. It was great. Watermelon sugar. High. Watermelon Jeez. sugar. Hi. <laughs> number eight, Dave's mustache versus number one, Dave texting the homie. Is this our final matchup of the day? Hard to say. Oh, Can't even final matchup of the day, number eight, Dave's mustache. <laughs> Dave's mustache. <laughs> I kind of like spelling mustache that way, if I'm being honest. It's a little cocky. It feels a little like old fashioned. Yeah, a little cocky. Versus Dave texting the homie. Oh, it's weird that the homie gets service and Dylan doesn't on weekends. He's got a better plan. He's actually on my plan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. really? Did you get him a burner phone for his birthday? He's got a cric- yeah. he's got a cricket wireless. He's my so. godson, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going with Dave texting the homie. No, wow, offense, no gonna, offense to your mustache. Well, I'm going. To, I'm going with Dave's mustache, so that the onus is on Dave. Oh, I don't like having to choose between these. I know they both tough. have your name in them. So. It's tough. I just didn't want to have to choose. Uh, the mustache what? isn't even a bit. It, it start. Did it start as a bit? Yeah, they all do. Yeah, all, yeah, exactly. I'm DTH. Dave texting homie. Wow. I think it makes sense. It's a number one seed for a reason. That's an old school bit, too. Can we run through some of the matchups that we have next week? Some of the tough ones, just real quick? I mean, just from looking at it real quick, drinking one beer versus mocha cappuccino, a little tough. Horny police versus as that's the only way she can eat fajitas. That's going to be a tough one. I'm going to have to look towards Mel Kuyper for that one. Mike Collins sick for that one. Randy's happy hour sign-offs versus frat Dave. Mel (laughs) Kuyper. He's a big basketball pundit. Everyone knows that. (laughs) Please subscribe to Too Much Dip. Bang! Welcome to Will Mons versus Dylan not being able to cook. Actually, that kind of you could actually probably be a pretty good chef for us. Who do the Will mommies got? Thank you. Podcast Week versus Sassy Wolf Dave. That's a tough one. Mm. Shack at Glissadente. There's no way to look that up versus Spooky Season. The Will mommies have Dave texting the homie. Oh no, God, putting me wow. right in the crosshairs again. Yeah. Wow, Will mommies made it through, huh? Yeah. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, they made it through, see. Oh yeah, good for them, sir. They brought their Tommy guns. Mob mentality. Yeah. Uh-huh. Literally. Al Capone. <laughs> You're good at it. Literally Al Capone. <laughs> <laughs> what, did he, what, what did Al Capone die from? It was an STD, right? Chlamydia. I don't know. Right? Can you die from chlamydia? Back in the... Syphilis. You're right. No, he died from cardiac arrest. Oh, no. no, he got he got pneumonia, and then the next day he suffered from cardiac arrest. Was there not a syphilis thing? You're Chicago guy, allegedly from Indiana. It's confusing. Well, I've told you the stories. Al Capone had a nice little operation going up in northern Michigan, running uh, booze across the border. Not sure what he was doing actually. Running but booze. He, eh? he did have a tunnel that went from like this area where a bank is now to a restaurant area, and so I believe that there was probably some illegal activity happening in there. Hmm. A guy in my eighth grade class decided to do his research project on it. I did mine on the Loch Ness monster. Mm, our underwater ally. Pretty chill. I see. And then he got to go in the tunnel. I was like, damn, why didn't I choose something baller like this? Nothing better than going in a tunnel. Eighth grade me just doing Loch Ness monster shit. What a fucking lame ass Did you do any spelunking in Cabo? Mm-hmm. Big time spelunker. Everybody knows that. that sounds, I'm scared to do it. That sounds dirty. Yeah. No, I didn't do any spelunking, David. <laughs> just spilling? Let's talk about ritual real quick. Jeez. Ever heard of him? With, what's wrong with you? We deserve to know what we're getting in, or what we're putting in our bodies and why, especially when it comes to something we take every single day. And Ritual's clean, vegan-friendly multivitamins are formulated with high-quality nutrients in bioavailable forms that your body can actually use. 
Imagine not having a bioavailable bio available form. That's a hard word to say. A lot of vowels in there. Guess what, Will? Dude, that word is all vowels. Took mine this morning. Really? Would you say it's a morning ritual? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've always said my day doesn't start until I get my coffee and my ritual. There you go. What you won't find in this is sugars, GMOs, major allergens, synthetic fillers, and artificial colorants, plus the fresh taste and delayed release capsule design make taking your vitamins easy. We all take these. Look at me. How do you think I'm operating at such a high level, like on the limited amount of sleep? It's because I'm getting all the vitamins that I'm not getting, like through foods, through the ritual vitamin. You if are weirdly bringing it finally today, so yeah, thank you. It's finally. Good. Took me a while. Vitamins, if there's ever a time to start taking a daily vitamin, isn't it right now? Protect that immune system. Why would you wait? Just make sure your system's on fleek. Why would you, why would you want to feel as optimized as you can right now? Can't imagine doing that. You don't want to end up in like a, a dumpster getting a test. No, like Dylan. No, you want to have the. You want your immune system and just everything firing on all cylinders. So get a multivitamin that that does it all. A multivitamin should contain key nutrients in a form that your body can actually use to help fill gaps in your diet. No shady extras, and luckily, Ritual's delayed release capsule design delivers high quality nutrients, including vitamin D3 in just two daily pills. You'll always know what nutrients you're taking and where they come from thanks to Ritual's one of a kind visible supply chain. Can you imagine not having a visible supply chain at this point? What would that even be? Invisible. Oh. Spooky season. It's now available for women, men, and teens. Ritual multivitamins are scientifically developed to help support different life stages. I had Sally take a look at it because, you know, she's a medical professional. And I was like, take a look at this ritual stuff. Like, give me your thoughts. She looked at it and she was like, this is legit. You need to be taking these every single day. Wow. Yeah. So your boy's doing that. They're delivered right to your door every month with free shipping always. You can start, snooze, or cancel your subscription at any time. And if you don't love Ritual within your first month, they'll refund your first order. Big on refunds these days. Mm. Huge. Get key nutrients without the BS. Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off during their first three months. Just visit ritual.com slash circling back to start your ritual today. That's ritual.com slash circling back. Well, this is a reluctant segment. Can I say something? You can. Randy, I just want to be the first to congratulate you on your one-year anniversary. Unfortunately, today is Randy's one-year anniversary. Mm. I always had April in my mind for him. A lot of people thought he wasn't going to make it this far. Randy, did you, did you think included. you were going to make it this far? Oh, I knew it. I'm an idiot. I thought he was on a one-year deal. Yeah, we got so bad that's news. actually why we have him on the mic. Today's his not farewell. Extending, uh... Randy didn't read his contract, but today's <laughs> actually the day that you're terminated. We're going to have to um, restructure your deal. <laughs> Make some more cap room <laughs> so we can sign SVP. Oh. How's it feel, Randy? Randy? Is this like a birthday to you? Feels like St. Patty's Day. Wow. Just another day in the office. So your original uh, request for your, your one-year celebration was to go to Dave & Buster's. It was my second request. I'm going back to the first request, the original request. What, Chili's? What's the original Chili's? request? Chili's. He wants to go to Chili's. Okay, okay I guess we're going to Chili's. Oh, absolutely go to Chili's with you. Just, you know, COVID times, Dave and Buster's, touching all this stuff. Doesn't doesn't seem like the move. Yeah, I'm going to try to hit that dance, dance, revolution button right what's, now. What's wrong with a little DDR? Actually, nothing. Use your feet. You're not touching anything. Let's go. You'd be shocked by seeing how, how, how fast these feet move when I, I hop on a DDR thing. I don't want to see you do that. What if you found out that Randy was sneaky awesome at DDR? It would be very unsurprising for me. We used to have actually. DDR mats for the PlayStation 2. Okay. Had two of them. Okay. Anyway. I had the power glove. What's your favorite Randy moment over the past year? Oh, no, I know what yours is. Just hit the TL again. No, that's not it. The cake? The cake that he just keeps serving up daily. In Can here. I tell you my favorite Randy moment from the last year? Uh huh. Well, it was after we uh, were actually celebrating another one-year anniversary, which was Brett's, and we went to a hotel bar after because there was really nothing open, and Randy decided to start doing origami for the waitress, and he yeah. gave her a bouquet of flowers yeah. made out of napkins. That was by far the best. That is, it was one rose, and she loved it. I think my favorite Randy moment is when he just. Uh, we're in here, we're like about to record. We're good, good spirits, good mood, vibes are right, and he just brings up something that just tanks the vibe right before we record. Uh, that's probably my favorite Randy moment. Moments. Yeah, mine's just Randy's say. timing in general. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's got to be origami, but since Will already chose it, I'll, I will go back to the gut bacteria. <laughs> that Randy Randy did a sign off when I, I didn't know what was wrong with my insides, and I had to get like a procedure done. But Randy, Randy turned it into the best sign off he's ever done, in my opinion. Next to ca candy cane or or gut bi bacteria. Question: One or the other. Are things going better in the gut? 
<clears throat> Thanks to you, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, mission accomplished. Damn. <laughs> Hang the banner. It's getting pretty comfortable in here asking about Dave's guts on his yeah. one-year anniversary. Wow, okay. dude. Okay. Wow. Okay. One of my favorite sign-offs was actually just the, when you were in space. He was just floating through space. My favorite by far was it? I guess it was a candy cane. I thought I was thinking ornament that he was hanging from the tree. Wasn't it a both. cane? It was, it was both. both. It was a candy cane ornament. Candy cane ornament. Thank okay. You. Both. And then he was like 20 minutes late to work the next day, and I was wondering if he got stuck in the tree. The skeleton is something that should be noted. I'm not saying we had to have a full conversation, but when Randy did come in as a skeleton, that was a pretty good one. Uh, do you remember the time that Randy took vacation and was just gone? <laughs> no. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. That was my favorite time. Have you too. taken a vacation? I mean, he's been to like 16 weddings really. over the past year. You do have a lot of friends getting married. Yeah, so. I got like three more, four more this year. You're taking your ritual. Something I, something I did truly enjoy was during the Austin freeze, there was never a conversation with Randy about like what to do or like if he should be working on anything like that. It was kind of just like, you know what? Let's just let Randy run free because he was trying to find water and, and heat for – just days on end and it was like yeah i'm not even gonna talk to randy about maybe making a clip out of our yeah. uh, out of our online streams or anything i'm gonna let him just have this week to just survive it looked like the blair witch project at his apartment that week he was he, bad he went off on the content that week. yeah he did i would like to thank Alyssa and sally for actually reaching out and seeing if i was okay and no one else in the company well i, I told sally too i was like sally can you reach out to randy that i told you you could stay. i will pull receipts that is a blatant lie <laughs> <laughs> i i offered you my house i believe at one you point. did you did offer him his, your house thank you Jerk. I would have, but, man, I had the newborn at home, man. Dang. That did happen <laughs> right after you had that newborn. I know, man. You could have had Randy be a night nurse. Nah. <laughs> no, you don't want that. I could see him being a good dad. He just has Rhodes doing squats there trying to get his cake up. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. My favorite Randy moment is when we're um, recording the Too Much Dip live stream, and Randy, like, he's on the stream yard but he's not actually on the broadcast. And for whatever reason, he feels the need to like do his shirtless workouts on camera. So like, you're like talking and you look down and Randy's doing like jumping jack. Shirtless. I did you're that once like, and um, I stopped my camera. Like, why, I why, you, it was bad. you could, you don't, we don't even need you to have the camera on, but that was a good moment. I, I do enjoy every single happy hour live, just seeing Randy preparing for his bit and me not knowing what it is and just like constantly looking down being like, what the fuck is Randy doing right now? Randy, what's your, what's been your favorite moment? Oh man, let's go generic. Just getting hired. Yeah, that was pretty Ooh. big. Okay. What about taping the uh, South by party that you, was supposed to be on your first day? Which was supposed to be literally a year ago today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was ready to watch you guys like beat up Jake and Amir, but. I don't know. I, I love the happy hour sign-offs. They're just fun to do. What? Who oh, are Jake yeah. and Amir? They're podcast hosts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are we going to run up on some fools? Yeah, what, was the, yeah. what was the thing we had? Was it, they were going to get the business. It was a Patreon us. thing, right? It was a like oh. Patreon house of creativity or something like that. And we were just going to throw hands with other podcast creators? We, we were going we to frat stomp them. I love the idea of just us <laughs> tanking our relationship with Patreon and just to beat up some other podcast. <laughs> a frat stomp. So stupid. Uh, yeah, we hired him right before the pandemic. No one's doing that. Solid move by us. Yeah, I don't know what it's like being an employee outside the pandemic. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Well, sadly, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when are we doing our dinner? Are we, do are we going tonight? I'm free tonight, TBH. Hard to say. We might have some other stuff in the pipeline tonight. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. Like? But we may like not. Like such as? Like beers with the boys. The Iraq. We might have some beers with the boys, right? The boys. I was told to have uh, margarita pitcher deals on Saturday. If you guys, where is it? Where is the Austin Chili? We're not doing a weekend dinner. Like, come on. Oh, Austin okay. Chili's. I don't know. Where's the where where where, where are kids going these days? There's one up on by me, kind of by Lamar and Forty Five. That's too far. I don't north. go that far north. That's too far north. Is it one south of the river? Uh, I don't know. You you've lived here for your whole life. I don't go to fucking Chili's, man. I'm sorry. What? God, dude, you suck. You call yourself a frat star? <laughs> You're not. <laughs> I guess we could come closer to you since it is we're always, we are celebrating you. Eh. No, I'm looking now. Well, Randy, make him ride his bike. Are you sure you want to go to Chili's? We took we took Brett to like one of the most expensive steakhouses in Austin. Yeah, and it led to Randy doing origami for a waitress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not a steakhouse guy. I'm a Chili's guy. But Randy will just send the steak back for being too salty. Guy. That's where T-Bone originated. Arguably a, a good bit. Yeah. 
Now there's a Chili's near Stasny. Mm. Looks like that's our spot. Wait, Stasny and what? I'm not trying to go to a Stasny Chili's. I normally don't go Stas. That's east. It's got to be east, right? Dude, I don't know. Stasny's on. You, I don't know my left and right. Do so you think I know how to look at a map and say, see Good. what's going very, on? Very, very fair point. It's fair. I guess we're going to Chili's, though. What, Will, think? let's go to Hula Hut. Ooh, I'll go to Hula Hut. They got the pipeline fajitas. I wanna actually wouldn't be opposed to that. We got tubular tacos, man. Dude, I can stumble home. We can have an after party. Set. We don't have this kid out yet. We can rage all a, night at my place. I'll give you a tubular taco. <laughs> Do you get it, Will? Aren't we paying for it on the company card? Like, I feel like no, I'm this re- one's on me. <laughs> 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 Should we let Randy do this weekend of fun with us? No. Nah. <laughs> Should we kick him off? Can we, t- can we turn his mic down? It's just going to be him like, uh, like riding his bike through Austin and enjoying himself. It's true. Nobody wants to hear that. They want to hear me just say I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this weekend of fun presented by Honey. We all shop online, and we've seen that promo code field just taunt us at checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for, internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. They support over 30,000 online stores. They range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands to even food delivery. If you're not using Honey at this point, A, you're just an idiot. B, you don't like money. I use every single sponsor that we have because I support them and I, I stand behind them. Honey is the one sponsor that I pretty much refuse to like buy anything without using it first. I have to use it to just know what I'm getting. Every time. And it works. Every time. All the time. Yes. It, it's just great. You Love always it. get Love the discount it. code. And it's easy. It's so satisfying seeing it run through all the different discount codes that it could possibly have and just seeing seeing which ones work and which ones don't. Yeah. It'll like find the, one that's like pretty dope, like 50% off. And it's like, we're not finished. We're going to keep <laughs> looking for you. It's like, all right, go off, honey. Yeah. It's great. I love honey. I love what they offer. And I always look at the options to choose. But I normally just pay full price because I'm different. <laughs> That's, I don't, that's the. I don't know. If I don't gonna think like you should that. do that. I, I think, think you should use money. Like that. <laughs> that makes no sense. You're such an idiot. You're just leaving money what out are you there. Doing? Dave, you have a child now. You need to be saving money more than you, more than you were before. I hustle. Wow. Just imagine that you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the honey button drops down. You don't have to think about it. Like sometimes I forget it. It's such mm-hmm. a. It it doesn't slow down your browser or anything like that. There's no concerns there. It just pops up when it needs to. It's yeah. great. And you just wait a few seconds. It searches for all the coupons that it can find for that site. And if it finds a working coupon, you just watch the prices drop. Pop-ups have like kind of like a, a, like a dirty connotation. You're like, oh, pop-ups. This is like the least intrusive pop-up. When it's it pops up, pop-up. it makes you happy. It yeah. like whatever the little endorphin button in your brain is, it just it just fist bumps it and goes away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've saved money on everything. I saved money on the tux that I wore at my wedding. I remember that. It was big. You looked pretty good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. What if I just like shit on my wedding day? Well, I wouldn't tell you. You oh. looked okay. I didn't because Honey actually made it uh, made it nice for me to buy a tux that I wouldn't have bought otherwise. Wow. Major shouts. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. So go to get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash circling back. That's joinhoney.com slash circling back. Dylan, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, thank you for asking, Will. Um, not a lot, man. Not a lot at all, actually. I have no plans. Um, I will not have parks Friday or Saturday. I'm, I'm looking to mob. If the people are mobbing, I don't know. I know Dave's got a newborn at home. You got one like a couple days away. Okay. Is it really? It's a that, little further than that. Yeah, don't you? I'd be. It would be. It would be a, a mega tough scene in the nursery at our place if. Uh, yeah. If that that baby comes out sooner. Than later. Put some respect on the trimester. Okay. Point being, I have nothing going on. I'm looking to mob. Uh, the app them. told me the other day that our baby's the size of a Tickle Me Elmo. Really? And luckily, my dad was swag back <laughs> in the day, and he got me one for Christmas. <laughs> Wait, how big is a Tickle Me Elmo? They're like, like the size of your child? They're like 35 pounds. I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> how, I, bi- how big are they? I don't like this. Dude, you're it's, too good it's at that. Too, yeah, it's weirdly yeah, good. Yeah, please stop. stop. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, you got to cut it. that out. Oh, boy. That's okay. Mickey. Sorry. You're mixing things. You got it. Sorry, dude. Call me DJ. Mixologist over here. I got nothing going, going on to this the T- weekend. Going to the TGI Fridays Mixology Championship or whatever. Are y'all trying to link? Well, you remember that. What? 
TGI Friday's bartending championship. Dude, it was sick. Dylan Dylan didn't get invited. uh, Dylan did not get invited. I didn't want to go to that stupid thing. Dude, that was so fun. It was like people talk about the most fun trips we took at Grand X. Like, you know, players' championship gets brought up, the the cruise the cruise gets brought up. But Dave and I were just balling during the Dude, we were we were front row with our with our handlers and we were just pounding Pounding beers. Pounding beers. It was kind of weird they weren't serving cocktails at that, considering it was a bartender. It was weird, and we drank. It was like the the ballpark aluminum bottle beers, and we were just we were just house. I love those. It was so fun. I love those cans. I probably drank at least four bottle cans. They're great. Saw a dude at my old apartment walking in with like twelve of those the other day, and I was like, God, he's about to have such an awesome weekend. Dude, they remind me of Vegas so much. They sell them up and down the strip. Mm -hmm. They're great. You just can't help yourself. I've been there before, not to brag. You just can't help yourself, dude. You're such a fucking frat star. <laughs> You're trying to make that catch on, and I hate you for it. What are you talking about? Please, please. Are you saying that they're going to be like a, a weird late entrant into Bit Madness? No, I'm not. If somebody gets, like, one of the teams gets COVID, <laughs> and they have to step in. <laughs> what are you doing this weekend, Dave? I don't know. Not, not, not much. Just take care of your kid? Probably just, the kid. <laughs> Probably just that and... Uh, I think the weather's supposed to be pretty good. Maybe we'll go outside. Oh, that's, go for a walk or that something. Sounds exciting. Go to the park with the dog. It sounds lit. Hang out with Randy. You're really making me excited for fatherhood and all the fun. It's great, man. <laughs> oh, it really is, dude. I was talking on I did not to brag, I did RBP yesterday and Ross was we're talking about the kid and I got I borderline was like just talking about him got a little emotional. That makes sense. I, to be honest, like I've been we've been getting a lot of gifts from our registry. And Ooh, which one? Well, dude, this sounds really lame, but like, I say Jeff, but from your Jeff registry, <laughs> like, like pulling out like the, those books, like makes me kind of emotional. I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna be reading this thing. To Just wait till it's till the kid's born. It hits different. Kyle Banduho, noted friend of the pod, he he sent me a book, two books the other day, and like he told me one of them it makes him tear up a little bit. Sorry if I'm exposing him right now, but like, dude, don't I get it, man. Shit's emotional. Tell me about it, dog. There's something about when you're just holding something you created and it's, as it's screaming in your face and just just pooping itself. You're just like, oh, my God. This is different. Is roads built different? Some are saying. I got a big weekend plan. I don't have anything. Are you, you ready for what, Are you ready for what I'm thinking about doing? Are you going to mob with me? Took Rosie for a walk last night. Did a little survey of the new, new crib. Walking around, saw that they filled the pool up. Your boy With might water. Be, your boy might be hitting the pool. No, busy. Oh. All right, I'll come through, man. I might, I might try to do it. I'll come through. I might try to do it. We'll see. But other than that, I don't really have much on the on the uh, old docket here. How did they fill it? Did they just have Dylan come stand in it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's a handsome guy. Mm-hmm. That's oh, gross. Thanks, Dave. It is gross. That's you're right. Now, I don't really have any plans. I, I feel like I have plans every night this week. And so it's kind of like I, I haven't even begun thinking about the weekend. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and the gentlemen. weekend. Will's weekend. Hey, so are people out there scouring the other like SNL performances, hoping that there's another bit out there that they can start a Twitter account for that's like, ladies and gentlemen, Miley Cyrus. That doesn't work. But there has no, to be one no. more guest out there that you could make a Twitter account out of. I'm ladies gonna- and gentlemen. Listen, Dill. <laughs> <laughs> they did say that uh, SNL's having trouble getting big name stars, so it might be difficult for uh, they. they Wes and Dill might get the nod. Why are they having? Because nobody's watching. Yeah, I think I think it's just not doing well. Wow. It's not prestigious to do SNL anymore. We turned it down. But better things to do. I just don't like New York City that much. I don't really feel like going. New would, York City. I would do Mad TV. Oh, would you? With Jim Carrey, Randy, what are you doing this weekend? Your mic is still up. We'll, Dude, since it's your one year anniversary, we'll give you it. We'll give you the opportunity. You have twelve seconds. He's been champing at the bit for this. To be honest, right now, I have nothing planned. The okay. Past couple weekends have been boring, so I think I'm gonna try to step out, go mob, have fun, probably look at apartments, get a new phone. Oh, man, my, my calendar's all booked. I, I wasn't. I wasn't okay. asking to, yeah. to hang out with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to hang out with a bunch of old dudes. <laughs> I don't blame him. But yeah, yeah Randy's probably got a tight squad. Gonna go maybe try to go out, but need a new phone. That's the biggest thing. That's gonna be my my job this weekend. Wow. Why do you not like that your phone has uh, 
thirty percent battery after you unplug it for an hour. It still has the home button, so that's I think the biggest thing. I've been oh. shamed into that. Yeah. Oh my god. And oh. also, it just dies at one hundred percent sometimes. So. Does that worry you to go out and like get an Uber? I. I that's why I want to get a new phone so I can go out. You're gonna get stranded, and you're gonna be like sending smoke signals asking for Dylan to pick you up. Like, please, Dad, I know you're not doing anything because no one calls you. That's not nice. I'll call you this weekend. If I go to the pool, I'll, you'll be the you? you'll be in the top four people I text. Don't play. Hmm. Do it. I'll think about asking Micah to come over. Micah's Whoa. currently hurt, holding on to my busy reserve because it, it was just something I couldn't pack, so I think I'm going to make Micah bring over some busies and just hop in that pool. Wow, that's a great idea. I want to try some new busy flavors. Ooh, we could put my new jet ski in the pool. Ooh. Didn't think about that. Just do donuts? Ooh. Like when Billy passed the, the third grade. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, man. We got Brett's breaking news, but unfortunately, Brett cannot make it here for Brett's breaking news. Why? Where'd he go? He's, he's on a call? biz call. No, he's probably in there. Dude. Busy Dev Brett. Of course, he's, he's probably in there working on his bracket. Here. Do you remember Busy Dev Teebs, the commenter from uh, <clears throat> PGP days? No, I don't. I just like the word Busy Dev. I only remember Tired Guy. Tired Guy was good. I might just go back into the comments and just see what, see what kind of good You don't want to do that? Yeah, it's probably a good call. All right, little choose your own adventure, guys. Sabres, illegal shark trafficking. And P.O.D. Okay, we can't do Sabres. Let's go P.O.D. Do you know if it's about the hockey team or about the things that you... They fire the coach, Will. You do the, the wine or the the champagne thing with. I've never done that. It looks dangerous. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to. Well, I'd rather just open it with my hands. Buffalo Sabres fire coach Ralph Kruger after his 12-game skid. Yeah, losing 12 is tough. Yeah, you don't want to lose... If you're in a professional sport, losing 12 games in a row is not what you want. Yeah. I'll say it. Especially when you're ranked outside of the top 31. Do you want illegal shark trafficking or sabers? You just did sabers. Or P.O.D. Let's do P.O.D. What's P.O.D.? <laughs> Are you serious? Is it a band? I don't really you know. Watch Little Nicky one time for me. This says the mystery boom noise has been heard once again in San Diego. So I guess he's just doing POD. Here comes the boom. It says last week residents of San Diego reported another mysterious boom noise accompanied by unsettling rattling of windows. The boom is the second to take place in the city these past three weeks, which have been accompanied unaccompanied by earthquakes, according to the United States Geological Survey. So there's just booms going out. Maybe mm. it's jets, sonic booms, Miramar's right there. You don't think it could possibly be... POD doing underground concerts during I don't think COVID? That's what it is. Could be Guile. Just throwing Sonic oh, Booms. Yeah. Could it be T Boom Pickens? Mm. That's pretty. Okay. Could be Nelly Cruz just boom sticking. Okay. Tiger Great and Ranger Great. That's not what it is. You don't think he's just taking BP out there and people are like, geez. I think they'll be able to identify that, you know? Do you yeah, think it is... could be do you think it could be the uh, new drivers at the Callaway factory? That's what it is. Dude, the Callaway boom the stick. Callaway boom stick. Mm -hmm. They never made the pipe, sadly. What, what are they waiting for? They're waiting for us to disband as a company so we can't sue this shit yeah. out of them. <laughs> they, they know we own the IP. <laughs> What's up with these sharks, then? Dave, I don't think Nelson Cruz ever played for the Tigers. I beat the Tigers, sorry. Oh. He beat the Tigers very badly in the ALCS. Is that the one big setup just to fuck me over? No, I, it was just an error on my part. I was trying to remember where he went after the Rangers. You guys want to hear about the shark trafficking? Mm -hmm. A New York man was convicted. He had a backyard full of sharks. His pool. Above ground pool, I'm seeing. Ooh, it's above ground. Oh, so you went in. You looked at the breaking news. Yeah. That's not cool. They crushed the first sentence of this excited. news story. It says, well, this bites for a New York man. Yeah. Not as much as his odd pets. He's been convicted of trafficking sharks, which he left in an above ground pool in his backyard. Again, this is New York, not Florida. Let the man have his sharks. They're sandbar sharks, though. Which I don't know much about sand mar sharks, but they don't sound like dangerous ones to me. Throw a tiger shark in there or something. Actually, a, a, sand, shark in a there. sandbar shark sounds pretty chill, actually. Yeah, like I would hang out with one. I would swim with one. Like swim up sweet style. Randy seems to have something to say. Throw a bull shark in there. Let's get crazy. I got a piece of breaking news slash too much dip slash steam room. This better be fucking good, Randy. Okay, that's, you're doing a lot. After... A franchise history of never having a quarterback. I'm glad the Chicago Bears mm. have finally found their guy, the backup quarterback, Andy Dalton. Well, let me be the first to congratulate you. As someone who's <sighs> gotten a front team. row seat to Andy Dalton's recent history, you are gonna, you're going to love it. I stand my ginger kings out there. He's That's the, all I have to say. Katie, Katie Texas is on. Yeah. I have to say that because there's a Horn significant frog. chance that I have a – Ginger King. 
or Prince? Okay. Your child. Uh, I'm just worried my kid's going to come out looking like Prince Harry. He's a handsome fella. You talk He's about. pretty handsome. I guess. But people, like, there's, like, a conspiracy theory that, like, Prince Charles isn't his dad or whatever. If you've seen the photos, it makes you think. The timelines don't add up, but I don't know if I believe the timelines. I don't, yeah, yeah I don't really believe the facts. The, the, dude, the dude that's allegedly his dad looks exactly like him, and Diana really? had an affair with him. It's weird. Just really? putting it is out. That, is that confirmed? The, she was, like, he was, like, a, one of her bodyguards, right? Yeah. And he looks just like Prince Harry. He really guarded that body. R.I.P. Though, let's get out of here. It's been a hot week of content. Man, what Princess a Princess Di Bay mood or goals? Mm, bay. bay. Okay. Bye. Bye.